Welcome to Moving Math and finding the highest common factor or the HCF. First to begin, what is the highest common factor? Is the highest number that can be divided exactly into two or more numbers. I find an easy way to find the HCF or the highest common factor is to create a factor tree and look for common prime numbers and multiply these together. Prime numbers are numbers that uh, are only divisible by itself in one. Uh, the first five are 2, 5, 7, 11, and 13. And for most of uh, examples where you're finding the highest common factor, uh, those will probably work for you. I'll leave a link for a video that explains what a prime number is and a prime number chart. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what? Okay, we need to find the HCF, or the highest common factor, of these two numbers. So I'm going to begin by creating a factor tree for 9. And I know 3 times 3, and they're both prime, equal 9. And the reason why I circled them is they are prime numbers, so I will circle each prime number. And I'm finished factoring 9 because I have both numbers are prime numbers. I'm then going to move to the other side. And 27, 3 will go into 27. 3 times 9 is 27, so I will circle the 3. 9 is not a prime number, so then 3 times 3 is a prime number. So I will circle them, and so now I am finished factoring 27. I then go back and put a check mark by common factors. So 3 and 3 are both common, and 3 and 3, and at this point we're finished. So then I just multiply the two common prime numbers, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So 9 is the highest common factor for 9 and 27. Okay, that was a fairly basic example. Let's move on to another one. I now have 24 and 36, and I will just repeat the same process. Uh, 24 is divisible by 2. 2 times 12 is 24. So I will circle the 2 because it's a prime number. Then 2 times 6 is equal to 12. I will circle the prime number. And then 6, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And they're both prime numbers, so I will circle both of them. It's almost running out of room there. Okay, now for 36, I will just go ahead and factor with 2's again. Uh, 2 will go into 36. 2 times 18 is equal to 36. I will circle the 2 because it's a prime number. And then 2 goes into 18. 2 times 9, I'll circle the 2. And then 3 times 3 is, a, is equal to 9. And so I'm finished factoring 9 because I have two prime numbers. I then will put a check mark by the common number. So I have 2, and I have 2 again. And then I have one more 3. So now, to find the highest common factor, I will multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, and 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. So 12 is the HCF for 24 and 36. Let's work one more example. And um, I, will, I have another vi video I've created to where you're finding the highest common factor for 3 or 4 numbers, and I'll put a link for that down in the uh, show notes. So now we have 54 and 18. So let's start factoring 54 and 18. It does get a little tedious going through this. So for 54, I'll have 2 times 27. Circle the 2. And then 27 is equal to 3 times 9. So I will circle the 3 because that's a prime number. And 9 is equal to 3 times 3. And both of those are prime. Okay, so that's 54 factor. Now let's go to 18. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. And then 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Again, I have circled all the prime numbers. I put a check mark by common one, so I have a 2. And then we have a 3. And one more 3. And so we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. And then 6 times 3 is 6, 12, 18. So the HCF for 54 and 18 is equal to 18. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Moving Math uploads a new math video every day.